I just I decided about six months ago that I never want to be good at yoga. You know, I never want to compete with anyone or compare my practice to anyone else's. I just simply want to have a practice from which I derive benefit. My name is Eddie Stern. I'm a yoga instructor. Stretch the arm. If I see a place where yoga would be helpful and someone invites me to do something, I say yes. That's all there is to it. What is your name and your profession? Uh, my name is Moby, I'm a musician. And what form of yoga have you practiced? Well, years ago, my friend Eddie, who is you, I mean, this was probably like 25 years ago. Am I allowed to say he or you? About 25 years ago. I like to talk to, about myself in the in third, third person. person so. Me too. I usually refer to myself as the Moby. So you could say like, well. The Eddie. Yeah. So 20, Five or 26 years ago, my friend Eddie had just started teaching and I went to one of his classes and I was not allowed to go back because I just kept laughing. And then I had a good, I'd say 18 years where I did no yoga at all. And then my same friend Eddie taught me a very simple Ashtanga practice that I started doing in hotel rooms on tour. And then ironically, I was out to lunch with a bunch of yoga teachers. We were at a vegan restaurant, and it was at a big table. I had to go to the bathroom, but I didn't want to make everyone get up from their seats, so I crawled under the table, and in crawling under the table, I popped something in my back. So I just think it's kind of ironic that I hurt my back at Eating a lunch with yoga with teachers, yoga teachers mm -hmm. at a vegan restaurant. For the next nine months, my back really hurt. And I kept thinking, like, it's gonna get better, it's gonna get better. And uh, it didn't. And I tried massage, I tried acupuncture, I tried all sorts of things. And then I was on tour, and I think I was in an airport, and I saw this, I don't want to do any sort of like product endorsement, but I saw this thing called the yoga deck. And I just randomly grabbed this yoga deck, and I had a day off in Brazil, and I started doing the practice in the yoga deck. And I don't even know what type of yoga that is. I just kept doing it and my back got better and I found that like this really simple yoga practice that I've, I've added on to and changed over the years it was one of the only things that I could do in hotel rooms to stay relatively sane and healthy on tour so to answer your question what, what types of yoga I've done so I've done a very simple Ashtanga practice whatever practice is in the yoga deck um, yin yoga if that's even a thing um, vinyasa flow the practice that i have i don't know what really any of the poses are called so it's a pretty it's a long it's like an hour long practice but i don't really know what anything's called except for the basic like shavasana so I'll, I'll go to i'll go to take classes every now and then and the teacher will say the name of a pose and i have no idea what they're talking about like i'll know the pose and i will have done it hundreds of times but i don't actually know what it's called and so how often do you practice now ideally five days a week but i try and also change the practice so I'm not so some of the things that involve a little bit of strain um, I try not to do those every day tell me something about how you've changed and transformed your yoga practice and recognizing these things uh, about yourself well I guess and how I, your practice has changed and what inspires you now with the yoga well when I first started the practice I'm doing now which is I guess about three or four years ago it was very simple and one of my goals was to have something to do in hotel rooms and to try and make my back feel better. So my practice had a, a really ni nice, naive quality to it. And then a year and a half or two years passed and I kept adding on to the practice and then I started taking classes with random other people. And some of the classes were great, but I found myself competing. You know, like I'd look around the class and I'd figure out like who was I better than and who was better than me and like, and I wanted to impress the teacher, and so he or she would say like, oh, you know, go into this posture and like really go into it. And I'd like really like strain and try and do things better. And that, it played into like, almost like insecure type A part of myself, where I wanted to compete with other people and I wanted to be better. A few things happened. One, I started hurting myself. And the goal of 
my yoga practice is not to hurt myself. Um, but I was pushing myself too much. And uh, so I decided to sort of like take a step back and not do competitive yoga. And also, I started looking at the yoga world around me and I saw this, this ethos of competition and ethos of striving. And I realized that I don't want to be a part of it. Like going to yoga classes and thinking like, oh, you're going to be the best yoga guy you can be. It's like, I'm pretty happy to have a healthy, balanced practice. I just, I decided about six months ago that I never want to be good at yoga. Mm. You know, I never want to compete with anyone or compare my practice to anyone else's. I just simply want to have a practice from which I derive benefit. I think there's a lot of value to doing a practice on yourself. That's mm -hmm. ideally what yoga is for. It's not about mm. just going to classes. But physically, when you do your practice on your yeah. own, you know, what happens to you? Well, I have three goals in my yoga practice. There's the immediate goal, the short-term goal, and the long-term goal. The immediate goal is to just enjoy the practice while I'm doing it. And that I do. Um, the short-term goal, which is, I'd say is like, could be measured in weeks or months, is to have increased short-term health and flexibility and clarity and happiness. And then the long-term goal, which I could measure in years and decades, is to ideally be healthy physically and mentally as I get older. Because I look at the, the world in which we live and I see a lot of people, especially as they get older, battling maladies that could be avoided. You know, and I think that a yoga practice, both in terms of increasing strength, increasing flexibility, increasing bone density, um, and also its sort of spiritual development and psychological help can enable people, or me, to live longer and live happier or more disease-free lives. There's this one pose, and the first 10 times I did it, I had honest-to-goodness panic attacks. I guess around the 10th time, I just started laughing. And so this same pose that gave me panic attacks now is very comfortable and restorative to me.